So we have a dimensional analysis problem here. It says figure P1.10 shows a frustum of a cone. Match each of the expressions A, B, and C with the quantity it describes. D, the total circumference. So D, circumference is a one-dimensional uh, quantity. It's just the length, just the length of something. So one dimension. So D, total circumference, E, the volume, E, it's a three-dimensional, three-dimensional quantity, E, the volume, or F, the area of the curved surface, F, area, that is two dimensions. So. Basically, we need to check um, expressions A, B, and C, and see if there's a product of the three dimensions. So our three dimensions in question are R1, which is this, R2, bottom radius, and then H, which is it's the height. Let me clean this up. Okay. So we can look at, um, let's look at A first, just because it looks like the most complicated. So we have pi, that's just a number, R1 plus R2, then we have H squared plus R2 squared minus 2R1, R2, plus r1 squared, and this is raised to the half power. So we have, we have, we have both r1 and r2 here, and we have, so this, this is um, one dimensional, this this quantity right here is one dimensional. So we can say L, this quantity is consisted of, of height squared plus R2 squared plus R1 squared. So we can say this, this quantity here is L squared and then it's raised to the half power. So we have L squared raised to the, or two dimensions raised to the half power. It's gonna bring it down to one dimension. So we have L times L essentially equals L squared equals two dimension. Two dimensions. So two dimensions. So A is associated with a two dimensional quantity. So A is associated with F. Next we'll look at B. Two pi times R one plus R2, that's going to equal 2 pi R1 plus 2 pi R2. This is one dimension plus another dimension. The sum of two dimensions is still one dimension. One dimension. So B is one dimension, so that's going to be associated with D. E. We have can see it kind of easier than the other ones. We have pi h times r1 squared plus r1 r2 plus r2 squared divided by 3. Multiply this in, we have pi h r1 squared plus pi h r1 r2 plus pi h r2 squared divided by 3, and right away we can see we have first dimension h, second dimension r1, third dimension r2, three dimensions. So c is associated with e, and we're done.